Hi, I'm Palmer. I'm the founder of Oculus. Um, virtual reality at this GDC is probably the biggest it's ever been. In fact, there's probably more virtual reality on display here at this year's GDC than there has been at maybe the previous 29 GDCs combined. Uh, I think GDC actually had to move a lot of the virtual reality talks to a new venue to double their capacity because there were so many people who were interested. Things haven't always been like that. Uh, a few years ago, really nobody believed in virtual reality. In fact, I believe there's probably a sizable number of you who still don't believe in virtual reality, and that's okay. I think that you're going to be proven wrong and you're going to have to eat your words pretty fast, but that's, that's what I tell myself every night. Um, but I really do think that when you look around, you see so many people today that a year ago weren't thinking about VR, and certainly two or three years ago weren't thinking about VR. Three years ago, it was a very brave few people who were willing to go out and start making games for virtual reality and experimenting. And now, it seems like everybody's doing it. Everyone's either experimenting with VR or at least thinking about virtual reality. I'm at somewhat of a disadvantage to many of the other people who are speaking. They're able to go back and tell you about what's worked in the game industry, what hasn't, some of the incredible changes that have happened over the years. I, on the other hand, am 23 years old, and this is my third GDC, barely. So I can't actually tell you what's going to work in virtual reality. I can't give you insight into, you know, deep insight into what worked in the past. Really, the only thing that I can tell you is uh, what's, what's kind of, how this is kind of starting and how this is starting to evolve. So the good news is there's lots of people working on VR, um, and this isn't just, just one set of teams. It used to be that a lot of times the people who would invest in a major console launch or something would be companies that could afford to invest in, or people who were able to get money from publishers. We started out as a Kickstarter company, and a lot of the developers we work with have similarly humble or even more humble beginnings. We're working with tiny devs like Carbon Games all the way up to uh, people like Insomniac and Ubisoft, and I think that's because everyone sees the promise of virtual reality. Is it not working? So I think it's going to be really interesting to see this industry evolve, and it's going to be interesting to see what the successes are. And I wish I could come up on this stage and tell you virtual reality is going to change everything, and it's all going to be for the better, and nobody is going to fail, and you're going to make so much money if you get into virtual reality. Uh, the actual truth is that, like I said earlier, we don't know how things are going to play out. We know that there are going to be a lot of successes, but it's likely that there's also going to be a lot of failures. And that's really the same of anyone else in the games industry. I think right now there's a lot of optimism. And as of now, the rubber hasn't hit the road. And so nobody's really had to fail. It's going to be interesting to see how the games industry continues to evolve based on the things that have, happened, that have already happened. Things like crowdfunding, new, new publishing models, new funding models, new game engine technology, new hardware technology. Things that enable games to actually be very different from what they've been in the past. Because I feel like for a long time, games were a little bit in a rut. And I don't say this as a game developer. Remember, I'm a really young guy. This is just as a gamer, I felt like things were really stuck in a rut. It was, the games coming out every year were roughly the same as the games that came out the year before. The last few years, that has not been the case. We've seen radical changes in everything, whether esports, which we've talked about, digital distribution of games, mobile, and I think now augmented reality and virtual reality gaming technology. What I'm hoping is that I get to keep working with developers and I get to keep working with people who are doing so that someday um, I will also be as old as the other guys on stage. And I'll be able to come back here and tell you what worked and what didn't, and what was successful and what wasn't. And I'll be able to tell you how the people that are here at GDC made virtual reality successful and kept pushing the games industry forward. And I'm going to have gray hair. Thank you. everybody. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, don't forget to come back tonight at 6.30 in this room for the IGF and Game Developers Choice Awards. Now the expo floor is open, sessions are starting. Go enjoy GDC. Thank you. Thank you.